one of the most profitable niches within the pressure washing industry is industrial cleaning now this is the first job that we've done it accounted for over fifty thousand dollars in our business this year we've also landed another one recently that we did and that one was a ten thousand dollar job it was a stripe and wash i'm going to be saving that job for another video because that one has a story of its own however i never realized how profitable this niche is so i don't know where you guys are from but here in louisiana we have a ton of different plants that specialize in creating chemicals oil all kind of stuff that i don't really know a whole bunch about and i'd never really thought about it until the job came along but all these places need pressure washing and plants in general around here are notorious for spending incredible amounts of money on things that other businesses typically wouldn't spend that much on now a lot of that is attributed to safety compliance insurance uh, and a lot of regulations however you guys could see how not knowing that these opportunities existed uh, could cost you a lot of money because we've never even tried to go after these places there's a lot more barriers to entry to get into the plant you need so much coverage you need twit cards you need all kind of crazy stuff in order to get into uh, these type of places but there's a lot of money to be made quote iq has teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away a window cleaning business starter kit all you have to do is download quote iq on the apple or the google play store and you have to become a premium or platinum subscriber to be entered to win be sure to check out the wcr for all your window cleaning needs we are going to be announcing the winner on august 1st now one of the hardest things about getting work in the plants around here is just getting into them in general and the reason for this is it's a lot about who you know and if you're not very well connected you don't really have a chance of getting jobs in the plants much less doing a job uh, as a contractor for the plant so the secret marketing strategy that i told you guys about earlier that applies to both new and experienced people in the industry is word of mouth and it's a particular form of word of mouth i'm not just referring to you know you do a job for a satisfied customer and then they tell their friends and family about you i'm more so mean you lay the groundwork yourself for the word of mouth when you meet people you tell them about your business you tell your friends you tell your family when you're at the gym the grocery store you're a constant advocate and billboard for your business because that's exactly the way that we got this job so one of my partners jacob who you guys see a lot on the channel in these videos does a tremendous job at leveraging word of mouth in order to land jobs he's probably one of the best that i know of at doing that and getting jobs in that way which is perfect because i'm more the online marketing guy i'm the paid ads guy i'm the how do we scale and get in front of as many people as possible and then convert those people into customers which works for industrial jobs because as i mentioned before that's how we landed that ten thousand dollar stripe and wash that i'm going to be bringing you guys in another video but there's people that i can't get in front of with paid ads or there's people that won't convert on paid ads because maybe they never heard about me and this is why having people on your team with different skills and diversifying your lead flow is so important because if me and jacob were both paid ad guys we'd probably compete we'd probably bump heads on which ad strategy is best which campaigns we should be running where we should be allocating you know more of the funds to however i'm the paid ads guy jacob's the word of mouth guy and kale's our business to business guy he follows up he calls people all day and he's relentless with landing these jobs so it's important not only to have multiple forms of marketing within your business but also diversifying your team so that if you ever want to add a business partner in you make sure that that person brings something to the table that you don't or else there's crossover there's conflict you butt heads and as they say there's too many chefs in the kitchen but the way that we got this job is one of jacob's girlfriend's friends works for a subcontractor who did a bunch of work in the plants and one day the subcontractor asked her if she knew of any pressure washing businesses that they could contract out to the plant and because jacob had been such an advocate for our business and what we do when she was asked this question the first thing that came to her mind was yep i know the company i know the dude i know his name i got his number i'll text him right now and get and get a hold of him but had he not made that connection had he not told her about the business had he not gotten in front of her we would have never landed a fifty thousand dollar job and if you take anything from today's video i want you guys to take away the fact that you need to be the biggest spokesperson for your business you need to be the biggest advocate for your business you need to be the biggest billboard for your business because you never know who you're talking to what connections they have and what doors they could potentially open up for you what if i told you that you were one conversation away from fifty thousand dollars you guys would be talking to every single person that you know and so you should just do that from jump and watch all the opportunities that come your way so we got the call from the subcontractor we went out did the estimate for the job sent in the bid and within a couple weeks we got the approval now the structuring for the estimate was the only thing that was a little bit tricky that we had a little bit of an issue with because it isn't like working for a homeowner you can't just throw out a price and they accept it uh, you have to actually justify your cost to the plant but once we were able to properly format everything we got the bid accepted and in about a week and a half we got the entire job done